48 nil in the first half. Um, you know, what, are your, what are your thoughts on the performance, particularly in the first half? Um, and then just finishing off the game, maybe there's a point on the board, maybe? Yeah, I think it was a decent start. Um, good intent, good intensity, good focus, uh, small disciplines and, and discipline really, really was good. Um, we managed to to force our game onto them. Um, obviously, being the the quality and the, with all the internationals they have, they'll never just roll over and, and let you scratch their belly. So uh, they probably tightened it up a little bit in the second half. We uh, we spoke quite a bit about. Re resetting and restarting. Uh, probably made a couple of skill errors early on, forcing it a little bit, and then one or two penalties on their side. So then they get set piece, they dictate the tempo, they manage to to, to squeeze you. But so um, really happy with the five points. Um, like every week, a lot of good things, but a lot of things to fix as well. Coach, I'd say you're not sort of Edinburgh's number. Um, you know, last year it was a really, really tight one there where they just did you guys by point. To put 55 points on them here, that's quite the statement. They, um, every, everyone has been um, close, close to completed. Um, I, remember, I remember really clear that first one we had there, um, the feeling afterwards, Frank, the, the ecstatic feeling of, of beating them there. We probably felt we, we let one slip last year there as well. Um, I think it was a one or two point defeat. Um, like I said, if you're going to allow them to play, um, they really got good good quality. They also want to play a bit more ball in hand um, with Sean and, and Scott and everyone there. Uh, luckily, we, we managed to, to get the ball to play a bit. Jason, um, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, just on um, JC, middle of the match, um, how much is he back in the top of the well, I think uh, man of the match uh, speaks uh, speaks for itself. Um, I think he had a really, really good game, and uh, playing with him in, in the loser combination is is always energetic and, and playing off each other. And I think you could see that on the field. So it was really good having him back and, and playing a, a full game. Yeah, unfortunately, we lost Sibar with a toe injury on Tuesday. Um, Jared has really been playing well in, in the Curry Cup. I think one of the benefits of someone like Jared is he can play six, seven, and eight comfortably. Um, we almost feel we've got we've got a couple of those hybrids, uh, whether it's Jared, but Enzo could probably play the similar role. VSD Compass maybe a week or two away, he can play that role. Um, I think Jared has been playing good rugby and. Uh, Today, I think he was he was a really big today. It was good. Quite a few of the guys played well. You know, we could pick so many names out of that performance. Um, but Cade was really had a good first half until that injury. Um, is it serious? And uh, you know, were you impressed with that showing before he unfortunately had to come off? Yeah, I told him this. Even though it was only 35 minutes plus minus, I think it's by far the best performance in a Lance jumper. Um, I think that's. That's the promise he's shown from, from a schoolboy. Um, the ability to attack, to defend, to kick, to take space, uh, make good decisions. Hopefully, hopefully we found it out and we pulled him soon enough. Um, in the moment he, he felt something. Hopefully, like I said, we'll only know within 48 hours with the muscle anyway, but um, yeah, hopefully it's, it's soon enough and it's not that bad. Uh, coach, was that the most satisfying first 14 minutes? Uh, if, you, if you talk in intensity and, and I almost want to say pedal to the metal, I, I would think that. Um, I think we had, we had a couple of good good halves uh, before, but in terms of clinically, clinically, what's the right English word? Dinis. Clinically good <laughs> and taking opportunities and creating play, support run, like I said, the small things, probably. Frankly, when you walked onto the pitch with the team, did it feel like that was going to click the way it did today? <laughs> I, I think you, 
well, we had a really good uh, week of prep. Um, we, we really looked hard at ourselves, what we could improve. And I think uh, the first 40, we did it really, really well. Um, so obviously, um, um, congrats to the guys on that first half. But um, there will be a very, very good lessons um, coming out of the second half, especially going on tour. Um, never easy, but um, you, you need to know how to close out games or to, to, to keep your foot on the throat when, when you have the game in your hand. So, um, I mean, uh, none better example than the second half. So we'll really have a look at that and, and take the lessons out of that that we can. And from Frankie, what were those um, sort of decisions on the pitch during that first half? I mean, you guys stole a lot of ball at the breakdown and decided, you know, to sprint the ball quickly and uh, go off on counters and that really worked out. Yeah, I think uh, our defence our defense in the first half was really strong and um, we stayed connected and the, the force really moved good around the rock so that gives our outside backs a um, chance to, to get up in their faces and then slow the ball down or turn it over and then we have really good uh, outside backs and, and loose forwards that can play off each other and, and score some unbelievable tries. Franco, I think um, just want to try once again, um, that first half, I mean, is that Probably one of the best parts of you as a player at the Lions experience in terms of the cohesion. Now you guys are just, especially defensively, just the grit that you guys are putting in and just and getting points. Yes, um, I think like like Coach mentioned, um, we we spoke also about accuracy last last week. We made a lot of errors, and I mean uh, every time we got the the ball on the front foot or in the off, we we scored points. It was three or seven, um, and that I mean that's how you build the score and build the innings. Um, so really really happy with that. Uh, Coach, how much has the, the management of the players during the Curry Cup helped this excellent start? Because you got us going now over, you're going to go face Dragons, you've got a very good chance of possibly winning that game, and then you've got uh, second game as a Zebra. So you could quite possibly come back with at least four victories in the first five rounds, you know. So how much has the Curry Cup management and the management of players during the Curry Cup helped, always as a pre-season, to get you guys going in such a fantastic fashion. I think the, the alignment alignment with plan and alignment and understanding of I almost want to say the, 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 the whole system. Um, we we knew we wanted to to target Curry Cup and see if we can win it. I think we were quite open with, with everyone around that Franks and and in there the management of a certain group of players to to play Curry Cup, a certain group to do a bit of URC preseason and then use some games to, to see combinations and, and get them going. Um, good alignment between the Curry Cup coaches and management and, and the URC coaches and management training against each other every day um, in the build up to URC so, so there was some, some good synergy there um, and that allowed us, we, I mean we, we were honest with the players as well. As, we probably probably undercook in terms of preparation, but we were ready because we had guys that, that played quite a bit. Um, so obviously satisfied with with the ten points in the, in the first two games. Um, I think Dragons have, have improved immensely if you look at the first two rounds. Um, Zebra was probably untouchable in that second half uh, against Munster, um, and then Leinster, Leinster at the Viva, they'll probably pick their their strongest team before they they get to the November break. So uh, it's definitely three tough games. Coach, um, you know, obviously you don't want to look too far ahead, but um, with that game against Lens, the, the international break, and another away game against Munster, you know, those are two huge games. How important then are these next two games against Dragons and, uh, you know, uh, Zebra to sort of get those points, especially with, uh, you know, before the season started, you said, you know, your realistic goal was actually top four this season. That's the goal. Within the group, we feel um, it's it's a it's achievable for us if we if we add our best and, and we play what we can. We honestly feel we can get there. Um, we focus. And, and it's going to sound cliche, but we really focus hard on, on the first two home games. Um, on tour, it's always a little bit of a smaller group. We spend more time together, so, so tour is, is different and different challenges. Uh, we know that we really got to be in tip-top form against Dragons if, if we want a result, and then same with Zebra. And, and like I said, we we like playing against the Lenses and the Monsters because that's where you, where you see where we are and, and where you can t test yourself. So before we can get to Lens and Monster, obviously Dragons is, is foremost important. But uh, after the Monster game, that's when EPCR starts to happen, and there's two games here, and then back to the Stormers, and, and then there's there's planning-wise a lot of 
ifs and buts and selections and all of that. So as a group, we knew we had five games to, to get going and, and get over the, over the, across the board. So first two done. Coach, um, Darren Lensburg, I mean, um, um, I think he had a lot of steel and a lot of pressure in the lineups. How much work has gone into him? I mean, he's grown so much over, over the past couple of seasons. Yeah, always been athletic, um, which is probably his, his biggest benefit. I think he's he's grown a lot in terms of uh, work rate, application of of um, his strength, but also what, what we need uh, line-out wise or on attack and, and defence. Um, no, he's, he's moving well. He's, He's getting stuck in, in in the physical battle, which is good. Um, and I think we're happy with with where with he, where he is. My English well, is gone. Gosh, it was in the first half that we didn't need on for the best for the news. Edinburgh had a near ball this it was in the first half there. And I think the news had it so 77 that they could have made made. So that is also that must also be a plan to be given for the good for the other. I think the Die Cherry op die koek is die aanval, maar die, die basis van het, dit is die verdediging. Um, hy het baie bal gehad, ek denk, soos ons het gesê het, in, in, in Engels en Frankrijk het gesê, ons discipline om by ons structuur te hou, om ons, waar ons hard gewerk het in die beek, um, om dit te kon toepas en dan die bal terug te kry, en dan goeie besluit het te neem in spasie en, en by ons X-factor aan ons uit te kom. So ek, nek, ek denk die hele grond, grondslag vir die eerste fase is, is ons verdediging. En het het gelijk in die tweede helft so vir hulle uh, minder geskop het op ons uh, en bykie meer die bal gehou en gedraai en dit het dinge vir hulle bykie verander? Ja, ek denk waar dit in die wedstrijd was en wat die telling was hulle sou nie net geskop het nie, hulle sou begin aanval het um, waar hulle wel slim, slim en goed is, is as jy die oomlik dat hulle bykie momentum krijg het hulle nog nie vermoe om jy te trap in die, in die, in die uitbrekpunt so ek denk ons het 3 of 4 van hulle gestrafskop het afgestaan en nou kom hulle in die 22 in, hy is doktor, hulle die tempo, hulle die bal, um, dit pas hulle manier van speel, so, ons het geweet, soos ek net ook sê het, ek men, ek denk hulle het, wat sê ek, 12 plus toetspelers, hulle paar Britse leeuws, hulle gaan nie net omroon um, nie, dit is ook om ons moes goed begin het, en hulle wat ons gelukkig gedoen het, uh, paar foute van ons af, en bykie discipline het, hulle het jylle moet terugbouw. En dan vir Frank, uh, net uh, een vraag, hoe, hoe hou mens nou die spelers op die grond, wat, uh, wat hulle nou uh, weet, uh, hierdie gebruik om een uh, goeie seizoen te hebben. Wel, ek denk as jy, as jy kyk na die, na die afgelopen paar jaar, die, die, die span wat, die, die competitie word nie in die eerste twee week, of selfs die eerste, wel die, in die eerste 18 games gewen nie, want ons spanne wat 6 of 8 le in een korte final en wat deerkom en dan op die oude competitie wen. So ek denk, ek meen ons het nog niks gewen nie, um, maar ons is baie gelukkig met die met die 10 punte wat ons by die huis kon vat, so dit is nou voor en toe kyk vir, vir Tour en, en soveel as moendlik punte op Tour te kry. Last night for us, please. Frank, over the past few seasons, you guys have toured pretty well. Um, got some big results, you know, Connor Kloss, yeah. uh, was, or last season was fantastic. Um, a couple of seasons ago, you guys got, I think, three wins on tour. Um, so do you guys sort of, take a lot of confidence like that going on tour now and is it something that really brings the guys closer together and you know something you guys really look forward to? Yeah, no, I think um, tour is always always um, enjoyable. Um, like I said, we, we're always a little bit smaller, so everybody is working to the same goal. Um, we have really good meetings, um, doing social activities with each other. So, um, and, and, I, and you can see that as well. So, so really looking forward to go on tour and and yeah, we, we have to, to play to our best abilities to, uh, to get our points that we want. Thanks, Frank. Thank you very much. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, guys. <laughs>